What's going on, YouTube? Chris here. Want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Theta, OMG, and Digibyte. Those are the five I'm going to have time to get into today. And what I want to do is start out, we're going to look at the bullish case for Bitcoin, and we're going to look at the bearish case for Bitcoin. I want to start out with the bullish case for Bitcoin and what I'm seeing. So if you guys get some from these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we're going to dig into this. So in terms of the bullish case for Bitcoin, $10,000 is being defended. And it's been defended now since we dropped down on the 3rd of September. So ever since the 3rd of September, we have been trying to stay and having candle closes up above $10,000. And what that would also correlate with, I like to use micro Fibonacci's as well and look at impulse waves and where they retrace back to. So from out of this symmetrical triangle, the low area that we had going from our low up to our high, you can see we retrace back to our 0.618. And I'll zoom in on this for us. So our 0.618 was at $10,090. You can see every day we have candle closed up above that. So we are holding that as defense. I like to see that with the longer wicks. That's a good thing. What we're missing, though, is that volume. So that's a little bit of the bearish case because at this area, the support, we want to see big swells of volume coming back in. And so far, the volume's been about average or a little bit even below average at this area of defense at the 0 0.618. So that's definitely something that I'm keeping an eye on. Volume will tell you a lot of the story. But most of the time, out of these little micro fibs, what you'll see is a retracement back onto the 0 0.5 is a very common area. And if that's missed, then it'll be down to that 0 0.618. And if you find support at that 0 0.618, many times you'll have a bounce back to that 0 0.382, and that's around $10,944. And that would be a nice spot. That's basically in the middle of this nasty candle that we had dropped to the downside, very aggressive candle. I'd like to see what we would do with those areas. That would also correlate with our 30 EMA in purple and in in green here this is our 60 moving average and those are acting as overhead resistance now so it'd be nice if we can get a bounce up into those areas and test those areas and see what we do with 10,944 so overhead resistance we're looking at $10,500 that's also going to be the 0 0.5 here on the Fibonacci overhead resistance we're going to pay attention to that we want to continue to hold the 0 0.618 as support at $10,090 and today as well if we can close up above in pink here that's going to be our 100 moving average 100 daily moving average all this is done on the one day chart just so you know for bitcoin here so we can really get the big picture look of it but we're fighting to stay up above the 100 moving average as well as that 200 moving average so if we do lose those areas i'm going to start looking down to that 0 0.786 see if we would get a bounce off that area around ninety five hundred dollars if we do have an aggressive fall down through that ten thousand dollars but as of right now we are defending it looking decent we just need more volume to be able to make that next move that get that next kick to the upside now if we take a look at trading view and we go into the technicals we have a 14 cell 10 neutral and a four buy oscillators two cell nine neutral and a zero buy and our cells coming from the momentum which is a minus 1108 and then our MACD level there, which is a negative 311. All the rest are neutral. And you can see actually in the shorter term here, we're starting to do a little bit better with our simple moving average in five. It's throwing a buy signal. And then our simple moving average for the 10 day is throwing a buy. The rest are sells until you get down to that 100 and that 200 right in those areas. But, you know, guys, it's just a sticky spot. That's the main thing I can say for Bitcoin here. It's just a very sticky spot because if we could hold this area here, this would be this was our previous resistance area. We broke up through that. We would want to turn that into support, set our higher low here and then start making our next higher high to the upside so that's what i'm going to be looking at there guys don't forget to like if you get some from these videos and i've helped you out before we're going to move into ethereum next and like i've talked to many people about i don't know if you saw that video the reason why comments are off so many people have just been scamming and spamming my page and i can't keep up with it and for right now i'm just going to turn the comments off i'm sorry to the people who leave legitimate comments but i just can't have 90 percent of my you know channel just getting spammed by other traders and and trade call services that you know could be ripping people off i'm not for that so guys we're gonna move into ethereum here and Ethereum, the high that we've gotten to was $489. So that's going to be the overhead resistance line. That's what you're going to see up here in red. The next one we're going to be looking at is 417 overhead resistance. So, so far we've gotten a bounce off our 100 moving average. And that was roughly at about $311. That has been defended. We had these longer wicks down in here. Same deal. The problem is we're not having a ton of volume down 
in this area at this support area that 332 that we've paid a lot of attention to you can see that was our previous resistance that we want to stay up above for support but as we've gotten this bounce it hasn't been on aggressive volume been about average volume so we want to continue to see if we can get that swell to the upside here and go up there and challenge that 400 psychologically then around that 417. if we get in some of the indicators here our relative strength for Ethereum's at 46, still just putting in lower highs right now, trying to find a little bit of a double bottom down in here, see if we can get moving. But at 46, just running a little bit more neutral. We really need to start gaining that power on the RSI, and that's going to come from buying pressure. Okay, so typically in uptrends, if we zoom out for Ethereum and you look at these uptrends, when we have retracements, the RSI would get roughly down to about 44. And that's right about where we're sitting now before we get that next bounce. So we're just going to have to see if this is the area where we can get moving, see if we can go up there and set a higher high in the days and weeks to come. But right now, just really watch that 332, see if we can defend that. In terms of the technicals for Ethereum, a little bit better than Bitcoin right now. 10 cell, 9 neutral, 9 buy, so very neutral. Oscillators, 2 cell, 8 neutral, and a 1 buy is what we're going to be looking at there for Ethereum. So pay attention to those levels running up into that 30 EMA as well. See if we can get a candle close up above that today. So that's going to be ETH. We're going to move into Theta next. Theta is at 51 cents. It's had some very nice moves here. So since the bottom, when we had that massive dump back in March... We were down to around three cents. You can see it's went all the way up to 51 cents. So this has been a really nice move for Theta. Thing with Theta right now, what we're trying to do, we found support off the 60 moving average here in green, trying to get a nice bounce, see if we can get up over the previous highs of around 55 cents. If we can get over top of that, we can really get moving, guys. And this coin, when it runs, it runs hard, fast, and aggressively. You can see this last impulse wave that we had. Take a look here. Price range. So about 722 percent in the matter of a few months i mean that's that's what's so nice about some of these lower cap coins when you really catch them and you can play those those big swings and you remember when we were looking at this rounded bottom here we ended up getting a nice push back up we double topped came back down now we're trying to push up again so just be careful in this area here because if we fail again we could have a bit of a triple top there and we may need to cool down even more the rsi is at 60 right now Previously, when we got up to our high, the RSI can get up about as high as 90. I always like to keep this stuff in the back of my head. So if we have another major pump, once we get around the 90s and you're seeing long wicks, that's when you'd want to start uh, using those trailing stop losses or selling out, in my opinion. And then Theta, if we go in here to technicals, you can see it's actually a buy. Two sell, nine neutral, 17 buy. Oscillators, one sell, eight neutral, two buy. Moving average is looking strong there. So much stronger than Bitcoin and Ethereum. Next, we're going to go into OMG. Take a look at that. OMG is at $3.76. Trying to find support off the 60 moving average. So kind of like where Theta was at. Just been moving sideways. Lower volume. You can see well below average volume. RSI is at 47 right now. Just kind of moving sideways. So running a little bit more neutral there. Waiting to see if we're going to get that next pop to the upside. Last time when we consolidated or moved sideways, it was from May 21st. Till we got our breakout roughly at about August 11th. So sometimes you can really consolidate and move sideways for quite a while till you get that next pop. And that's what we're trying to do now is find that support area. Maybe if we get down to that $3 right on top of this area here and we turn that green now for support, just like that, we want to hold that and then potentially get our next move to the upside for a Mise Go. The high we got up to last time was $9.69, so that was a heck of a move out of there. When money enters it, comes really hard, fast, and aggressively, and it was out of that trend line break. Been looking at for quite a while. The technicals right now, 13 sell, 8 neutral, 7 buy. Oscillators, 3 sell, 7 neutral, 1 buy. Moving average is 10 sell, 1 neutral, and a 6 buy is what we're looking at there. The only thing that's a buy, besides all these neutrals here, is a bull bear power. Sell is going to be awesome oscillator, momentum, and the MACD is what we're looking at for OMG. And then we're going to get into Digi byte and i want to keep digibyte in here all the digibyte people you guys are always giving me thumbs up and everything when i turn back on the comments hopefully we'll get some comments from y'all but you guys are always great so i want to throw this in as well all right rsi is down around 37 here so we had quite the sell-off for digibyte if you take a look here it's roughly about 50 percent from those tweezer tops 
came down about 47 right in that area now what we would try and do is get back up over top of this 100 moving average in pink you can see we've wicked up to it today but we have not been able to close up above it and it's coming on weaker volume so what i want you all to be careful of here is if we roll over and say we attempted to go up here the next area of support i would look at or a buying area to accumulate would be around that 200 moving average and that'd be at 0 0.01726 would be the spot because we have to realize with digibyte it pumps very fast and aggressively and it also dumps fast and aggressively and this is one like we talked about with lower liquidity and everything i think it's better just to long-term invest in a coin like digibyte you know it has good fundamentals and it's tough to trade it because the wicks can be so long and you can't really set stop losses different things like that but i like to look at the price action with you guys and right now sitting at that 0 0.02207 and if we take a look at the technicals for digibyte we're having a 16 cell 10 neutral two buy oscillators two cell nine neutral and a zero buy we have a strong sell for the moving averages so digibyte's a little bit more behind and that's what's going to happen with these coins with less liquidity when there's big sell-offs they're going to dump much harder than like a bitcoin that has more volume so always be aware of that but if you get something from this guys don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell god bless each and every one of you have a great weekend